วัสดีค่ะ and welcome to at bright insight I'm g o n g a n o k w i s h i t p a n serving you the latest news from the Magaya centers all around the world our first news for today is the international youth camp in South Korea nine countries participated in the third p a r a m e t e r international youth camp in a l s a n South Korea Buddhist Youth Association South Korea organized the third p a r a m e t e r international youth camp And 20th p a r a m e t e r Youth Camp in a l s a n South Korea, during 5 to 9 August 2017, with delegates and youths from nine countries, including Australia, Bangladesh, China, India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand, and South Korea. Before the opening ceremony, there was the first International Buddhist Leader Forum by international guests. And use to share their activities and discuss how to be a leader and preserve culture. The opening ceremony started at a u t s a n University on 5 t h August 2017 evening, which inaugural speech by Venerable Ji Hong, Chairman of Buddhist Propagation j o k e Order, Venerable Simpson, President of p a r a m e t a Youth Association of Korea. Mr. Kim Ji h o n Mayor of a u s a n Metropolitan City, Dr. p o n c h a i n p i n y a p o n g President of World Alliance of Buddhists, with joyful and colorful program of light and sound and gifts for youths on 6 August 2017. Everyone got a chance to learn Korean culture, such as making lotus lanterns, preparing temple food, and experiencing the Dhamma Dham and more. During the evening was the big music festival. An international cultural exchange program before the Fun Fun Festival or Music Festival at Dongguk University High School, a u s a n South Korea. Dr. p o n c h a i n p i n y a p o n g World Alliance of Buddhist President, led meditation to keep peace of mind and make a world a better place, in accordance with the theme of the program. On 7 August 2017, p a r a m e t a camps received a chance to visit three temples. First. t o n g d o n g s a Temple, Second, Soknamsa Temple, and Third, Jamtosa Temple. On 8 t h August, we had a chance to visit Hyundai Factory and join the temple stay in b o g u n s a Temple. World Alliance of Buddhist Team, led by Dr. p o n c h a i n p i n y a p o n g received an opportunity to pay respect to s o k g u r a m on the morning of 9 t h August 2017. During the closing ceremony of the Third p a r a m e t e r International Youth Camp, all monks, Buddhist leaders, and youths did as a commemoration around two pagodas, national treasures of South Korea, the d a b b o t a p and s o k g a t a p stones in Bogosa Temple, meditated, chanted, and ended with a closing speech by Venerable Song Jin, Executive Director of p a r a m e t e r Youth Association of Korea, And World Alliance of Buddhist Vice President. The five day program in South Korea was a very good experience for all participants and paramitas who organized International Youth Camp Rally to train youth to be good leaders in the future. Rejoin to all participants, we are looking forward to the next year's event. Let us move on to Japan. w u p a t a m a g a y a t o j i n g i arranged a basic meditation course. The Japanese meditation village at w u p a t a m a g a y a t o j i n g i arranged a basic meditation course with a total of eight attendees from 12 to 13 August 2017. This small meditation course was led by three ordinary instructors, including Venerable p r a m a h a s o m k i e t b u n y a t e s h o Venerable t i r a w a t s h a y a t i r o And Venerable Banjong Banya c h a n y o The first day of the course started with an introduction to traditional Thai Buddhist prostration as well as t a m a j a k a b o d a n a s u chanting. The second day of the course began with a morning stretching exercise, the food offering, followed by a meditation session and a reflection on meditation. Later, the instructional monk held a special lecture on Mother's benevolence. To teach everyone not to live carelessly and cherish every second of every day that you get to spend with the people you love. Lastly, he commented 
on the importance of meditation practice, which allow us to discover the ultimate truth of the world. Everyone was able to put aside their duties, embrace inner happiness, and learn how to apply wisdom in their everyday life. The warm welcome, flavorful Thai cuisine, and a charming environment away from the crowns made everyone receive the most memorable meditation experiences. All of us are capable of attaining Dhammagaya. It depends on how much effort we put into practicing meditation. Our next meal is still in Japan, the weekend meditation program for Japanese. Wapatamagaya Guma Japan arranged a meditation class for locals during August 11 to 14, 2017. There were seven meditation sessions and there were eight Japanese participants. The teaching monks were Prakhu Palat Sune Chaya Pinyo, Pramaha Dr. Shatpong Katapunyo, and Prashaiwat Kunawatano. Everyone participated in Tamajaka Padanasu chanting ceremony, exercise, and participate in the breakfast offering ceremony, meditation, and listening to Dharma talks. Each participant had a good meditation experience. They felt comfortable, were able to still their minds, and obtain inner peace through meditating in a natural environment. All participants understood the Dharma principles more, made an intention to meditate continuously at home, and intended to come back to meditate at Thai Buddhist Meditation Center of Japan. Meditation energizes us with the willpower to confront our troubles without fear or worry. Let's move to Yamanashi, the cultural exchange and meditation program. Wapatamagaya Yamanashi arranged a meditation and cultural exchange on Sunday, August 13, 2017. The cultural exchange was teaching Thai food, which interested the locals very much. There were nine participants. The teaching monks was Prasukit Titakit Jo, and he kindly taught 40 ways of meditation, which was Dharma from contemplating on a corpse, and how to apply it to preliminary still the mind. After that, the attendants tied to meditation together for 30 minutes, and they all experienced happiness from stilling their minds. After the meditation section, it was the time for cooking activity. The menu included spicy and sour mice pork and spicy and sour mice mushroom for the vegetarians. All of them joined these activities happily and humbly offered their cooking to the teaching monks. After they received the monk's blessing, they enjoyed their food together. Merit is the most important factor that leads us to a successful career and life. Our last news for today is the one-day meditation retreat in California. On Sunday, 6 August 2017, the Magaya International Meditation Center, Azusa, California, organized a one-day meditation retreat for locals from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. There were 40 locals participants. The program included late morning meditation session, walking meditation, mindfulness game, and two afternoon meditation sessions. Everyone had a good experience in meditation. Some saw bright lights, some saw colors. This meditation retreat led to a better understanding of Dharma principles and encouraged everyone to practice meditation daily. The seven base, which is at the center of our body, is the place where all problems end. Now, let us introduce you our meditation center in Texas. Nicknamed the Lone Star State, Texas is America's second largest state by area and the second most populous. The word Texas means friend in Caddo, a Native American language. 
the state is home to some of the most distinguished structures designed by world-class architectural firms. The Lone Star can be found nearly everywhere in the state. And the image that comes to mind when we think of Texas is the culture of the adventurous rodeo cowboy. Arlington is a blend of the big city and the open fields, where the cowboy's way of life still persists giving the city its great appeal. The Meditation Center of Texas was founded in the city of Arlington, Texas by a group of good spiritual friends interested in Dhamma practice. It was founded upon the concept of genuineness, in which the temple is to be a setting that fosters genuine monks and individuals. The center has concentrated on training Buddhist theories and practices to interested Dhamma learners. Additionally, the center has created numerous positive outcomes to Buddhism and the society in the area of human development that began with the improvement of an individual's quality of mind and the instillment of norms and basic morals, such as the five Buddhist precepts. If everyone practiced meditation, um, there would be a lot less um, issues in the world. I do find the more often I meditate, the more powerful an experience it becomes, just like physical exercise becomes you know, more beneficial the longer one engages in it. Thank you for building an organization that, that I have aspired to, that has changed my life so much. The Meditation Center of Texas is suitable for all individuals regardless of their meditation experiences, from those who seek simple relaxation to those who wish to find lasting inner peace in their lives. Please contact the Meditation Center of Texas, 1011 Danish Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76011, or call 817-275-7700 or visit us at worldwideweb.demagayatexas.us. That's all for us today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to visit our Damagaya website, en.damagaya.net. See you again next week. Sadiqah. <laughs>